What's coming on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we're taking a look at Pangu 8. They call it a jailbreak for iOS 8 all the way up to iOS 18.1. So we have in here Pangu 8. It says jailbreak iOS 8 through iOS 8.1. If you search for iOS 18 jailbreak, this is right on top of the results that you get. Sometimes you get it as the first result in Google. We're also going to take a look at this one in here, Fugu 17, because Fugu 15 is a proper thing. It's actually used in dopamine jailbreak. So this appears to be the update, right? So Pangu 8, it says in here jailbreak iOS 8 through iOS 8.1 and if you click on it it gets you to this page over here which appears to be some tools that you can use in order to jailbreak iOS 18 beta and of course on all devices. The Asylum repo extractor essentially does nothing but to show you the content of a repo so for example you add the Havoc repo and it just shows you the tweaks available in there but you cannot install any of those tweaks and it's really a fake jailbreak tool. Moving down Redensa does essentially the same thing it allows you to install some apps quote unquote and in reality it doesn't work it doesn't do anything it says in here it supports iPhone 15 and iPhone 10 R running iOS 18.1 well it doesn't it says once you install it you can install iTerminal and whatever no you can't this is completely fake and it's unfortunate that it's completely fake because as I said this does show up in the very first result confusing a lot the people who are new to the jailbreak community for the Kawabenga online now Kawabenga is indeed a real thing it's a legitimate tool made by legitimate jailbreak developers it's actually used to allow customization without being jailbroken so you can change fonts and icons and stuff like that but Kaobenga online does not exist Kaobenga normally is a tool working on iOS 16 and it doesn't work on iOS 18 at all it's not this tool over here this video is completely fake then we have in here uncover black edition um, not to mention that uncover never had a black edition uncover is just uncover it is a real jailbreak that's the whole problem this is the real jailbreak uncover.dev working on iOS 11 up to iOS 14.8 and that's the latest version available and there haven't been any updates since like three years ago. So this jailbreak is mostly dead as in it's not getting updated anymore however they still have this in here uncover black edition it says that it supports the latest iOS 18.1 it doesn't it, this is fake do not even bother but as you can see there is a pattern of them using names of real tools real jailbreak tools and then of course faking it to look like it works on the latest version and whatever lick break is another completely fake jailbreak this one is also fake and it's also a repo extractor of sort doesn't work don't bother Pelrain virtual jailbreak for ios 18.1 well they almost got it right Pelrain does indeed exist is this jailbreak over here Pelrain.in, and it does support ios 18 including ios 18.1 beta but only on one device it's the ipad 7 generation and that's because it only supports A11 through A8 devices. And the problem is that that's not what they advertise in here. This is Pelrain Virtual Jailbreak, which doesn't require a computer and stuff like that. Unfortunately for them, Pelrain does require a computer. It's a terminal application that looks like this. So that's how it looks like Pelwain. You connect your device, you specify, for example, a root list, it enters your device in recovery mode, and that's the stuff. So you do this strictly in terminal. There is no no computer version, unfortunately, for them. And then of course they give you some fake information in here. Now, the Pengu 8 name that they got in here is actually also a real jailbreak. That's how they got this website to be so credible and to be so up in search. Because they are imitating the real Pengu jailbreak, which sadly, tragically, has some issues issues and you get this your connection is not private they essentially forgot to change the SSL certificate because this team hasn't been active in the jailbreak community for many years now they were last active back in iOS 9 days so they forgot to renew the SSL certificate and you get this error when you open the website making this look like the fake website because it says attackers may try to steal your information and making this look like the real website which is not it's the opposite if you go here to the advanced and proceed to the website this is the real Pengu jailbreak this was last updated back on iOS 9. The last version supported is 9.3.3 and this is actually a renowned jailbreak. The Pangu team is definitely legendary. However, they are not around anymore. This was last released in 2016 and that's the problem with it. They haven't been active in the jailbreak community and these people just stole the name. As for the Fugu 17, there is no such thing. Fugu 15 exists, definitely. Fugu 14 exists, but Fugu 17 is just a rebranded repo. They just cloned the repo from Pinoten, as you can 
can see over here, the real developer of Fugu, and change the version in here to be Fugu 17. And if you click the download button, it goes to kawabangalight.com, which is another fake website. So definitely do not bother, another fake this one as well. They're all fake, I'm afraid, and you might even get malware, so definitely be careful. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, peace out.